All right, hello guys, it's me, Clock, and we're back with Jack in a Castle Part 3. Uh, you may have noticed some jank last time in Part 2 and 1, uh, ending and intros. Uh, just because I didn't expect it to go this long, the videos, so I didn't actually make intros or outros on actual good times. So, that's why it was jank. This one, separate stream altogether, I've edited them, so whatever. Anyways, Part 3 is going to be about Jack... Or completing Jack um, so that's what we're gonna do okay uh, I believe the last save we have yes okay perfect so we're just gonna get right back into it uh, this is going to be continuing off right at the end of part two so if you missed part one or two links will be in the description uh, and the top card in the right okay of the video but also just in the description anyways with that let's get started also same thing it's Coffin of Annie and Lele music. Non-copyright. It's fun. It's tradition at this point. Okay, let's start. What did Jack mean the king isn't missing? His majesty is clearly missing. That means Jack knows where the king is, right? So then Jack must have. Okay. Uh. What do you think we should pick? He has contact with the king? What do you think? What do you think? I'll say he has contact with the king. So then the king is in hiding for some reason. They were roommates. Is his majesty in danger? But even so, I think he'd be the safest with his guards. Still, if that were the case, wouldn't the toys deserve to know about it? <sighs> Guessing about it won't do any good. I'll just have to find the truth out by myself. Jack knows the answers that I'm sure of. Unless he's just messing with me. Which seems pretty likely, now that I think about it. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, shit. Oh, it's Sylvester! Good morning, Marion. Huh? It's morning? Yes, the sun will rise very soon. I haven't slept at all. What are you doing here? I'm sure you're already aware, but Bunny has been caught. Yeah, how come you didn't get caught? You're not even trying to hide it, Marion! I was about to enter the castle when I heard a lot of ruckus. So I decided to retreat. <laughs> um, that's kind of... That was the right choice. Some friend you are. Oh my god. <laughs> um, um... I'm just gonna say some friend you are. Some friend you are? I, well, I couldn't possibly help him if we were both captured. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> I'm I'm playing it hard. I'm laying it thick, man. Betrayer. I'm not the betrayer. I am the betrayer. You don't know. How, how would he know? So what now? I will look for a way to help Bunny escape. And hope you will keep looking for the king. Of course. My house is near the concert hall. I will keep an eye out for you. Please come visit whenever you find something worth mentioning. All right. If I may ask, how is the search coming along? Oh, I, nothing. I I'm not getting anything right now. Okay, I, we're not we're not friends with you this route, Sylvester. Sorry. I know in the last part we just banged you and, and had two endings with you. Not this time, buddy. I see. I expected as much. Fuck you. Actually, there is a thing, but I'm not going to tell you. This is a delicate process. We can't rush into things. One wrong move, and we lose this opportunity. Yeah, I'm careful. Of you. That is a relief. I believe you are the right toy for the job. Thank you. Well then, I must be off. Sylvester is right. I can't make any wrong moves, and that includes working with Sylvester. Including carelessly sharing my information. The sun rises, and I, ha and I get to work. Hydrate up, boys. Uh, make sure you take a big swig of your drinks, boys. Staying hydrated is important. Who needs to sleep anyway? I try my best to keep cutting away the vines, but I'm not making any progress. In fact, I could swear there are more vines than when I started. This is pointless. Uh, it's pointless. That's what I'm saying. Oh, hello. Uh, good morning. Er, I mean, day. It's day already, isn't it? Ha ha ha. 
What's the source of these vines? Can we just go cut that? What are you, uh, talking about? It's pointless to keep cutting these. They're like dandelions. I don't know what to say. Yeah, in general. Galliath don't make fun of Galliathos. Our boy Galli's amazing. What were you talking about, if not the vines? The intruder. The only toy matching your description is Sylvester Sound. But, but, he's a highly respected musician, and I don't... Well, I... I... Uh, Can't be him. It must be him! Betrayer! We're going full betrayal. It must be him. Oh no. Uh, I'm gonna have to... Have to go arrest him. A all of his fans will want me dead. What? Excuse me? A and his f family. The they're so rich. Th they could absolutely ruin me. me. Be brave. <laughs> That's my encouragement. Be brave. <laughs> uh, but what if what if it's no no not him? What if I'm wrong? You can't know that unless you go check. Uh, I I'm gonna look into it some more. But for now, uh, I'm gonna assume it's him. All right, I'll leave it to you. Galley won't get backstage passes anymore. No, Galley, Galliathos. Galliathos is the main character, by the way. I love him. I'll get, I'll get right to it. Goodbye. See you later, Galliathos. I continue giving myself a repetitive strain injury for the rest of the day. Oh, just chopping vines, you know. Just your, use your right hand, the strong one. The next day, all the vines have grown back, as if to mock me. That's it. I'm gonna complain. Don't tell me I'm a Karen. Come on now. Yes. Jack has a whole bunch of paperwork spread across the floor. Was this a bad time? Yes. Um, I'll be back later. Later will also be a bad time. Oh, well, when is a good time? That's the thing, Marion. It's always an extremely bad time. So either never show up again, or just spit out what it is that you needed. It's just, it doesn't matter what I do. There's too many vines. What of it? What? Well, I mean, it's hopeless to cut them. And? And? Can't you do something? Hire more cutters? <laughs> I can't hire toys when there are no toys to hire. Oh my god, this excuse. Just pay more, Jack. God. Why do you suppose I hired all you of all things? You weren't a particularly good fit. I don't know. It turns out, no one wants to work here. <laughs> Yeah, what are you paying? Below minimum wage? Come on, Jack. What are you paying? One coin a day? Even Mario gets more than that. Well, no wonder. My efforts are all wasted. Think of it this way. You'll never be bored or unemployed again. <sighs> Sorry, one, one second. You know what? This is not... Yeah, there we go. Oh. Weird. That's pretty much what I was before I became the king. Doesn't working here have the most fantastic career advancement opportunities? Yes. <laughs> I'll say. Two pretzels per hour. That's what he pays. And you'll like it. No cheese to dip it in. Was that everything? I guess. Then shoo shoo, I'm busy. I'm the king, don't you know? Alright, alright, I'm sorry, your majesty. Though isn't that really hard to believe? Excuse me? What kind of king sits cooped up in a tower, figuring out the working schedules of his servants? A good king? He's a good manager! The kind that will have you executed if you don't keep your mouth shut. Do you like being the king, Jack? Is it is it really for you? A hydrate, guys? A hydrate check? Oh, alright, alright. Do you like being the king? Heh, <laughs> of course. This might come to you as a surprise, but being the king includes a lot of managing things. Like what? Like the whole country! Uh, right. Of course. So of course I like it. I'm good at it. Yeah, you seem happy. That's right. Nothing is wrong. Well, except... The fact that King is gonna... Uh, uh, what? I, I didn't say that. <laughs> what? Except the fact that you are here slacking off again. Cheese costs extra. Two, <laughs> two pretzels per cup of cheese. No! <laughs> Or, <laughs> Chatting up your boss to avoid working? I know you're kind. You got me. Go on then. Get back to work. I've had enough of you for the rest of the day. Wow. Well, at least we got to... 
We At least we got to fuck around a bit. I think me and Jack are getting along. He's still Jack, of course, but he's not as hard to deal with as before. Though maybe that's just me getting used to his antics. Yeah, is he still jump scaring you while sleeping? Sylvester is here. Again. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I keep showing up at these hours. It's sorry. I keep trying to remember the voices I'm doing. I've got a lot and it's been a day. It is easier for me. I hope I'm not intruding on your sleep too much. What's up? I wanted to tell you I've located a weak spot near the dungeon. I believe I can use it to release Bunny. Oh crap. No, don't do that. Marion? Er, that's great. But I really don't think you should do that now. <gasps> what? What? I was just about to say that. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. The page I'm on is preventing Sylvester and Bunny from talking. It would be too alarming to break Bunny out of prison now, and that would greatly hinder our search for the king. We will rescue Bunny once the king has been located. Right. Before I go, how's the search advanced? Minor developments, sir! We don't want to say slow, we'll say minor developments here, okay? Some minor developments. Oh? I haven't heard about the king. But I think me and Jack could be friends. And if that's the case, I'm sure he'll tell me more about the king. Why do you think so? Just because he did tell me the king is alive. So I think he wants to talk about it, but can't yet. Hmm. I'll trust your judgment on the matter. Hope you'll get some results soon. Well, you haven't gotten shit, Sylvester. Good night. What was that? Get some results soon? What do you think I'm trying to do? Yeah. Sylvester isn't giving me any useful information at all. Not to mention, if he gets caught visiting me, Jack will hear about it. And then all those time, then all the time I've spent here cutting those vines have been has been for nothing. But I can't just tell him to piss off either. He could turn against me. I should get some rest. Today I'm washing pots and pans. Uh, a particularly stubborn stain just won't come off. Thank you for helping me. It's fine. I'm actually glad to get away from the vines for a bit. Oh yes, those nasty things. I'm using all my might to keep the kitchen clear of them. They would be such a safety hazard. I can only imagine. Say, Jack was asking about you the other day. Don't worry. He just wanted to know if you've been acting suspicious. Sus. <laughs> like how? Yeah, I'm pretty sus. <laughs> I've been having a boy come to my room every night. You know what's happening? I'm pretty sus. We sometimes get reporters sneaking in the castle pretending they want to work here, but instead they look around, ask a bunch of questions, and things like that. I'm not a reporter. Yeah, you're an honest worker. Well, actually, you do slack off a lot, but <laughs> you're an honest slacker. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I told Jack that, nope, Marion hasn't said a word about the missing king, and he seemed pleased. Yeah, I've just bothered Jack about it like three or four times. <laughs> So I think you're going to get hired full time. I see. When you do, I'll bake us some special treats. Sounds good. Jack has been asking around. Thank goodness I didn't ask anyone about the king. Good day. There's the devil himself. Oh Jack, do you need, some do you need something? Dinner's dinner isn't ready for a few hours still. Yes, I need the doll boy. I guess that's fine. For a few minutes. I'll be taking him for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Jack pulls my hands with too much force, but I won't say anything. Arm pops off. Oh! <laughs> Body horror. Ah! I have considered all your endless whining and complaining. I complained once. Yes, yes. Always complaining. But fear not. I have good news. Congratulations. You're being promoted. Again? What do you mean, again? Didn't I just get promoted to a vine cutter? Oh, that? That was a joke. <laughs> I was wondering why you kept cutting them. He just didn't say anything! Motherfucker, my hands hurt, apparently. Well, now you know. Indeed. But do keep at it. It's much appreciated. Right. Anyhow, you're getting a real promotion now. I somehow doubt that. You are now my chambermaid. Oh, no, I have to change his chamber pot. Uh, uh, aren't you thrilled? You get to keep me company. Um. I, I don't know. How's that promotion? Looking forward to it. We want to get with Jack in this one. Okay. Looking forward to it. 
Washes crusty sheets. Oh no. Bro's a jack in the box. It's his crusty box, dude. He, he, he goes all in the box, closes it up. So it's a big surprise when he surprises someone. Doesn't look like it. Sorry, for some reason I'm a bit wary of your promotions. How peculiar. Why would that be? <laughs> now, I have some important business to take care of. Consider yourself lucky you get to come along. What is this? A door, Marion. Is this your first time seeing one? Jack. I don't want to go in. Just don't touch anything. The room isn't as big as I thought it would be. It's like a lair, and there's barely any light. On the bed I see... Is that... Yes, that is his majesty, the king. The king is sleeping peacefully, his chest falling up and down. But there's a weird glow around him. But... What's going on? Well, since you wanted to meet him, here he is. Um, aren't we, uh, bothering him? No. His majesty, his majesty is asleep. Why? Jack seems to be looking for the right words to say. Well, see here, Marion. The king is a great man. And, a great, and great men have a great many worries. For you see, the king wanted what's best for all of his subjects. The try as he did, he had to face the facts. When he wished to feed someone, another would go hungry. When he wished to provide homes, another's land was ruined. No matter what decision he made, he was always, always at the cost of something else. And so, the foolish king who wished well for everyone came to resent the world that is by default unjust. I tried to help and to rule with him, but he wished to know nothing, hear nothing, for everything just caused him grief, and that grief turned into hate. Jack? Anyhow, I got this fucking feather for him, and I put him to sleep all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just he just does that, you know. My king was having some issues, so I just permanently put him in a coma. You know, that's as one does, you know. Jack uses the item to cast a spell on the king. Oh, and then usurp the throne. The glow grows stronger, and the king seems to smile. Ah, me. Every time I get to sleep. Dot dot dots. Is something wrong? Excuse me. You look distraught. Fancy words don't fit your mouth, Marion. Stick with your uhs and whats. Huh? <laughs> exactly. <sighs> you think badly of me, don't you? Uh, huh? No. Uh, I mean, you're a bit rude, but... You think I'm keeping his majesty asleep just so I can be the king? I do not. The thought didn't cross my mind. Not yet, anyway. I didn't have time to think that far yet. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? How is that not the very first thing one would think of? Temporary king is charming, the true king to sleep. And you didn't think, that's a little off. No, I'm too stupid, remember? Ha. <sighs> Just so you know, I did the right thing putting the king to sleep. He was going mad with grief. And you know what happens when you go mad with grief? You destroy the country with vines for some reason. I get that already. Still, I didn't want to. I had to. The vines. The vines, Marion. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, we were, we were. It was for the best, or you? If you say so. Hmm. Hmm. It was for the best. I'm thinking it was for the best. It was for the best. It was for the best. Now the king isn't sad anymore. Hey, yo. Baron Blackjack, what's going on? Yes. But what good is it if I can't keep him asleep? I'm not sure why it's so important he is asleep. Being a bit depressed isn't the end of the world or anything. But I won't question it for now. Jack seems to be in a shaky mood. Anyhow, that's where you come in. Huh? What? I'll show you how to use the Dreamcaster. And then you can help me keep his majesty asleep. Uh... What is so hard to understand? I thought it was a maid. What are you, stupid? Of course not. Ugh. Sleeping spell needs to be cast every day. Once you learn to do it, I can focus on more kingly matters. Right. Let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Any questions? Just a few million. I don't have time for all that. Just do as you're told and you'll be fine. Oh, and not a word to anyone else. You already know that, right? I won't tell anyone. Good. Then consider yourself a full-time employee. Okay. 
<laughs> Guess you could call me a sleeper agent. Smiley face. That was terrible. That was fucking bad. <laughs> that has nothing to do with my job, except I'm putting to sleep people. And I'm secretive about it, like an agent. I'm so good at puns. <laughs> it's round. What the fuck? Get out. I'm great. I'm, I'm great. What's more? With feeling? Huh? Or uh, Hooray! Perhaps you need some time to let this all sink in. That's one way to put it. Very well. Take the rest of the day off to think about it. I'll come find you when I need you. Uh, okay. My head is spinning. I found the king, but he's forced to stay asleep. Why? Who cares if his majesty is feeling a little down? That's no reason to basically keep him in a coma. Is it really just an excuse so Jack can keep being the king? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Jack seemed so sad when he was talking about the king. Maybe the king was suicidal or something. I don't know. No, no, no. He was feeling murderous. We know this from the other endings. But I don't get the feeling Jack really wants to keep this king asleep. For now, I'll just play along with whatever Jack is up to. Uh, oh, hello. Hi. You seem, uh, not happy. I'm a bit tired. Oh, okay. Awkward silence. Oh. Oh. S so, care to, uh, hear how my s s search is going? Sure. In the end, this intruder is Sylvester Sound. There's no ifs or buts about it. Time to catch him. Yes, uh, I might, uh, anger the Sound family. But this is about the king's security. I can't let things slide. J just because he's famous. Exactly. You're doing good work. Thank you. I, I shall get right to it. Damn. Galiothos putting in the hard work. Nice. And I'm a betrayer. This might actually be better for me. Sylvester's locked behind bars. I won't have to worry about being caught talking to him. And I don't think he's going to tell on me, since we are supposedly still working together. Anyhow, I don't think wandering around is helping me clear my thoughts at all, but wouldn't he talk to Bunny, who knows we betrayed them? Whatever. We're, we're already betrayer. Full betrayer. We're an oath breaker, okay? I'll call it a day and go to sleep. Good morning. Oh, no. Good morning. Ah! Oh, oh, it's you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Why are you here? Just checking if you need me for anything. No, no, not at all. You're being weird. No, I'm not. Just go do your things. Or slack off. You got my permission to slack off. Something is burning. Ah, no! The cook takes something out of the oven. It's probably supposed to be a cake. Ah... <sighs> Well, it can't be helped. She offers me the cake. Nice. Congratulations on your full-time employment. <laughs> um, thank you very much. We're going to be nice. Thank you very much. Haha, <laughs> this isn't much of a surprise, is it? I'm plenty surprised. <laughs> Thanks. I should bake you another cake. It's probably still edible. Under the burned bits. You know, just cut it off like crust. No way. It's all dry and horrible. I'll make another one, but it has to wait till until tomorrow. Take your time. Apparently I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. That's right. <laughs> I help her in the kitchen for a bit. Then I ate some of the burned cake despite Annette's protest. It was dry. Just like she said. But still okay. As good as burnt cake can be. I feel a lot better. Decide to visit Jack. Enter. Hello, Jack. I brought you some cake. I offered Jack some of the burned cake. Why did I? I really am an idiot. I'm offering the king burnt cake. Made that yourself, did you? No, the cook made it. She was going to throw it in the trash. Where it belongs? Fine, I'll eat it all by myself. Be my guest. Well, anyhow, I'm delighted to see you. I choke on some cake and... <laughs> I choke on some cake and start coughing all over Jack's belongings. Oh, I'm, I'm a wonderful being. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely delighted. You are? Not so much anymore. But do tag along. I must redo the sleep spell. I leave the cake in Jack's room. He doesn't seem to notice. 
just loiter, just littering in his room. Jack leads us to the king's lair. I wonder why he wanted me to join him. There's nothing for me to do here. The other day he said he'd teach me how to use the Dreamcaster, but he cast the spell before I get the chance to get a good look. This place could use a dusting. Dust away if you wish, but spare me from your small talk. I thought you wanted some company. Indeed, but I didn't necessarily want it to speak. <laughs> right. Uh, it's just... It's been exactly three months now since I put the king to sleep. I thought he could sleep it off, but I stand corrected. Sleep what off? The misery, obviously. His depression? Sleep it off, bro. Jack, I have no idea what you're talking about. I told you last time we were here. The king was overtaken by some foolish grievances, and he remains so. Right. If you say so. How can you be so nonchalant about this? I don't know. I don't get why it's such a big deal. How can you not get it when I've already explained it twice? Look, Jack. Marion obviously hasn't gone through depression. She's one of those people who, like, hears someone has depression. They're just like, what's what's the problem? You're just sad. There's nothing wrong with you. It's one of those people. Yeah, just cheer up, five head. <laughs> How can you not get it when I've already explained it twice? Just think happy thoughts, you know? And then you'll be fine. <laughs> maybe you need to take the time to properly tell me. Or maybe you should stick it up. No, never mind. Never mind, you're right. I shouldn't assume you could connect the dots on your own. That's slightly more condescending than necessary. Don't read so much into it. I'm just stating the facts. So what happens if the king wakes up? I'd rather not say. What do you, what do you mean? So you don't know. So you don't know. Of course I know. And I would think you'd know too, after everything I've told you. Uh, but alas, dot connecting just isn't your thing, Marion. Or maybe you think I know more than you actually told me. What have I failed to tell you then? Well, that... Um... Well, I wouldn't know because you didn't tell me. Ah, yes. Such a paradox. For one thing, you could tell me how does that thing work? Be a little more specific, Marion. The thing you put the king to sleep with? Ah, yes. This. The dream, the dream caster. I got it from a witch who saw what's happening with the king. It's not normal sleep, in case you're wondering. He can't see or hear us, but if I bring him food, he'll eat it. Sometimes he moves around, too. Oh, this is creepy. Sleepwalking and, uh, sleep eating? I can only assume it's to keep the body alive while the, mon while the mind sleeps. I see. I think? <laughs> Marion. What? You sure are curious. Any reason why? It's just, I've never seen something like that before. Is that it? Is that all? Sure, you don't want this for yourself to do as you please with. What? No. Liar, I should put you to sleep too. Jack, of course not. Have a little faith in me, Marion. I have faith that you're mad. Oh, you got a little smoochy smooch. <gasps> Gasp. I'm not insane, angry, or insanely angry. But I am tired of being in this room. Let's be on our way. Mm -mm. No, wait. What? Isn't this... Jack inspects the king closer. Isn't this dimmer than usual? I don't know what the usual is. Weird. He casts the spell again. I guess the glow got a bit, a little brighter. I'm not sure. That. That's the usual. It must have done it sloppy earlier. Yeah, you did it pretty fast. Exactly. Nothing to worry over. Hearing that just makes me worry. The anxiety uh, begins. I went to bed worrying over Jack, who's worrying over the king. Freshly baked carbon. What? I don't understand why he's so obsessed with keeping the king asleep. I fall asleep without figuring out anything. Apparently I'm also dating the king now. The guard looks busy. He walks back and forth and back and forth. Hi. Ah! How did it go with the insurance? <laughs> She just ignores them. She's just like, I don't, I don't know what's going on with you today, Galliathos, but how did it go with the intruder? Ah, ah, that. Well, you see, um, but we've captured Sylvester Sound. He didn't put, put up any fight at all. Huh? So he's here? Yes, in the dungeons. Oh, crap. With the other intruder? Well, they're in separate cells, but yes, we have them both now. That's, I mean, haha. <laughs> 
I don't think it's a good idea to keep them in the same area. They're working together, after all. I don't think it's a problem. They're both behind bars now. But Bunny will tell Sylvester I'm the reason Bunny got caught. I mean, it's probably already happened, Marion. They'll turn against me. Ah, uh, actually... Uh, huh? What? What is it? I was walking around the castle the other day. I think the dungeon isn't very secure anymore. What do you, what do you mean? I think I saw a weak spot around there. Where? Where indeed? Sylvester didn't tell me where exactly he located it. In somewhere there. Sorry, I forgot. I'll look into it right away. Th thanks for telling me. Yo, Galiotho's, Galiotho's getting shit done this right. He's not even having a secret affair with Bunny this time. Good job, Galiothos. My man, not horny anymore. Chat, you could learn a thing or two from Galiothos. That still doesn't stop them from telling the guard and others about me. <laughs> Yo, subby wubby. Nice first chat message. <laughs> but I think my cover story with Jack is pretty solid and sort of true. I just pretended to help them. That's my version, and I'm sticking to it. I should get to work. But I'm not going to waste another minute cutting these vines. They're cursed or something. They're never ending. Perhaps I'll check if the kitchen... What the? Uh, the vines are growing. I could see them growing. <laughs> Galley on the wrong side is... No! <laughs> Hello, Subby Wubby. How you doing? Like, right before my eyes. Uh, hmm. Hmm, what should we say? Should we check on the king or have to... Let's tell Jack. We want to we wanna romance Jack this route, so... The door was unlocked. No one is here. He must have felt the shaking, too. Ugh, I ran up the stairs for nothing. Jack is probably already helping the king already. Soon the vines stop growing. Everything goes quiet. Jack opens the door. What are you standing there for? What happened? Come in. The king is asleep, but he's clearly been trashing around. This bloody spellcaster isn't doing its job anymore. Spell was about to break. Huh? Looks like I'm gonna have to cast it more often now. So what was that shaking in the vines? Boy, are you slow. That was the king waking up. Oh. Something finally clicks in my brain. Oh! The vines come from his majesty? So the castle is warping because of the king? I see you're finally catching on. How many times did I already tell you this? Zero. You never told me. Jack, you, you didn't tell us that. I just knew, okay? You just told me he's sleeping because he's miserable. Why do you think I'm keeping him asleep? I don't know. I don't know why you do anything, Jack. His majesty's negativity is affecting the whole kingdom. But don't worry. A little rest will do the trick. He'll be fine. <laughs> I... I don't know about that. It doesn't seem that way to me. It doesn't seem that way to me. Tch, what do you know? You don't know anything. I now I know now that the king is dangerous. See that? That's the reason I can't tell anyone about this. All you care about is your own safety. His majesty is in pain, but all you focus on is whether or not it's going to inconvenience you. Uh, Jack, uh... I mean, I it's gonna inconvenience the kingdom if the if the king kills everyone. I think, I think that's a little bit of an understatement. To say it's in, to say it's inconvenient is an understatement. Had you not come here on time, I bet the whole castle would have crashed down. But I did come here on time, and I'll continue to do so every day until the king is recovered. And so will you, Marion. That's why I've let you in on this secret. There's got to be a better way than this. Should you come up with one, I'm all yours. But until then, we'll just make sure the king stays asleep. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good. I knew you would, because you were smart. That's why I picked you to do this with me. I'd be flattered if I wasn't so terrified right now. Whatever, you'll get used to it. <sighs> I don't want to get so used to being terrified. Anyhow, now that the Dreamcaster's grown weaker, I really need to show you how to use it. That way, we can take turns checking up on his majesty. Jack taught me how to use the Dreamcaster. Eh, Jack's okay. He promised to get me a, delicate, a duplicate key to the king's lair as soon as possible. But is that really enough? What if his majesty wakes up anyway? I don't get why Jack is so sure the king will get better with some rest. He won't. I tried to get some sleep. My mind kept conjuring up nightmare scenarios of the king waking up and going on a rampage. 
Good morning. Uh, I mean, good. <laughs> good morning. I came to to give you this. He hands me a letter. Thank you. It, it, it's not for me. Oh, you meant... Ah, never mind. Never mind, see you later. But He hurries away. What? Um, letters from my master. He's trying so hard not to ask directly about the king. He must have been worried someone else might read the letter. Please find the missing socks, he wrote. He writes, the whole town is in urgent need of updates about your carrot growing progress. Uh, that's a really suspicious letter, master. Tell master everything is fine. Yeah, everything's fine. I write back that the carrots are growing well, but they still need more time for hard. They still need some time before it's looking like a good harvest. Nothing is actually well. The king might awaken and destroy the kingdom for all I know. But Jack, trust me, I won't say a word to anyone. Well, that's good. It's nice being out. I've been stuck in the castle for what feels like forever. Unbelievable. It's been months now. Where is the king? Ugh, I know. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Someone should overthrow that clown, Jack. That's what I'm saying. He isn't even doing anything but giving those awful speeches. They're not wrong. I can understand the frustration of the people. Jack could have told the truth about the king. Instead, he's keeping everyone in the dark. And his speeches are awful, too. <laughs> Still, that doesn't mean I don't feel bad for Jack. I returned to the castle after sending my, le my letter. He's a good king. Terrible social skills. Terrible. Just awful. Just freaking bad, man. Everyone thinks you're a joke. I see Jack in one of the windows. He must have been watching over me. I wave at him. He seems surprised and waves back. I had no idea your vision was so sharp. I just assumed it's as dull as everything else about you. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. I find your wit as dull as I am. Lovely. Now if you're done, follow along. I follow Jack to his room. He hands me a key. Here. Here. A duplicate key as promised. I've left the Dreamcaster in the chest by the bed. I'll cast the spell during evenings, you in the mornings. Uh, this won't fix anything. Excuse me. The king is dangerous. I know that. What if he wakes up? What do you think we're trying to do here? The king won't wake up. I'm making sure of it. And one day you fail to do that? What then? I won't fail. And if I do, everyone dies. So no one's in trouble, okay? What if you fall down some stairs and break your neck? Then I broke my neck, Marion. What, what then? Then my lovely stand-in, Marion, takes care of it. What if I stumble down the stairs as well? Then I'd say something really needs to be done about the stairs. <laughs> okay, you can't say this guy isn't a little funny sometimes, okay? Jack! Marion. Fine. This isn't going anywhere. I'll help you, of course, but we have to find some better solution. There was never a disagreement about that. Now, since you have the key, why don't you go test it out? Trying to get rid of me, huh? Yes, now go. Jack won't listen to me at all. The key works fine. The spellcaster works fine, too. King sleeps with a frown. I frown back at him. Aggressive frown. Mm. Some king this is. All he does is sleep or destroy things. Am I supposed to have want to help him? <laughs> Am I supposed to? I'm only helping Jack. We're trying to sleep with Jack, okay? If it were up to me, I'd leave this god at rot. Jack is doing fine as the new king. If his sleeping majesty hates the world so bad, how about he just end himself? No need to take his misery out on the rest of the world. I can't stay here. I'm getting too upset. Galiathos and his men are chopping down vines. H Hello, Mart. Galiathos? This is like the tenth name, Galiathos, that you've gotten the name wrong. You will be punished, Galiathos, when I am queen. Or... King King 2.0? King 2? Junior King? King Junior? What is this, fucking Burger King? God. That's useless. They'll grow back. Or er, what? The the vines? Yeah, I've been cutting them for weeks now, but here we are. They they must they really grew a lot the other day. Must have been uh because of the rain? It's like he's avoiding answering me. Why do you keep cutting them? Well, um, it's just we all have to walk through here, so I thought it'd be nice, you know? Oh, right. You're such a man, Galliath. Yes. You're such a man, Galliathos. Oh, hee hee, haha. -ha. You're such a man. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, but, um, thank you? 
you're out here doing what you can like a hero it uh it isn't that big of a deal i wish i had a man like you huh i i mean i wish i was a man like you oh oh hey yo raise his eyebrow is this actually the galiothos run galiothos you know i hear you're pretty handsome under that helmet uh, well, um, uh, um, it, you can do it. I believe in you. Right, right. You could be a man too, Martin. We take out some vines together. A letter has been placed on the table. <laughs> I want Gally to take off his helmet and he has no head. Well, they all are toys, so it, it would be fitting if he was a toy, like, outfit. So no head. <laughs> It's from Master. I'm delighted about the carrots, he writes. I hope you will bring some home soon. We have no other carrots at this point in time. The harvest has been bad. Please stay in good health and keep me updated on the delicate growing process. Master has no idea how bad things are going. I haven't been growing a single fucking carrot. Jesus Christ, Master. <laughs> but I can't tell him either. I'm not sure I'd want to. He's growing old. I don't know if his heart could handle the situation. Uh, I wish the king would just die. That would solve all these problems. I should get some sleep. Uh, my thoughts are getting too grim for my own liking. Uh, you must cast the spell in the morning, right? In the mornings, right? I should get it over with. What are you doing here? Horse habit. Or perhaps I'm here to see if you'd show up or not. Well, I did. So you did. Congratulations. Amazing, fantastic, and wonderful. Well, he seems to be in a great mood. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, if you don't mind, hurry up and cast a spell. Right. I cast a spell and the glow grows stronger. Sigh. Do it again. Why? It's dim. Even dimmer than the other day. Cast a spell once more. It glows ever so slightly stronger. <laughs> Awkward silence. Uh, this isn't working. This isn't working. I can see that myself. Okay, then. I'll be going. What? You're leaving now? I'm going to stay here and argue with you. I'm not going to stay here and argue. Yes, I'm going to stay here and argue with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to stay here and argue with you. You're obviously in a bad mood. I think you might want to collect your thoughts a bit. Oh, yes, Marion. Ruminating is the best use of my time. Clearly. What do you want from me? Not this. Don't talk to me that way. Did you forget who I am? No, I didn't. But when you act like a child, I'll treat you like one. How am I acting childish? Don't lash out at me. I did nothing to you. <laughs> yes, you did. Probably. I don't know. Anyhow, get out. Go have a wonderful day and leave me to rot. I want to snap something back at him, but decide to hold my tongue. All right, Jack. If you need anything, you know where to find me. I need something else to think about. Cooking. Wait, why'd that stop? Back to the good music. Nice, good song, right? It's my favorite. Oh, Marion, I was hoping you'd show up. Here I am. What do you need? Those pesky vines are starting to creep in. Would you mind cutting them down? Ugh, vines again? There's just no end to them. I'm sure it'll be easier once the winter comes. It won't. The weather has nothing to do with it. Yeah, sure. Oh no. Another quake. This can't be happening again. Uh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's just, maybe I shouldn't tell you, but... What is it? Mm, fine. You should know it too. Before the castle got warped, there were a lot of little earthquakes like that. And then they just stopped, so I hope that was that. But now they're back. I hope it doesn't mean the castle will start warping again. Um. Uh, it could be. Uh, 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 could be. I wish I could just get out of here. What's stopping you? Oh, you know, the usual. I have to keep my family fed. Ugh. I just hope I don't get hurt during the warping. <laughs> or get hit by something during the quakes. Yeah. I do my best to keep the vines out of the kitchen. The cook gives me a smile, but we both know it's useless. Pretty dangerous. It's still early, but I'm exhausted. I should call it a day. Marion! Or not. Hello, Jack. 
I've been doing some thinking. What a coincidence. Me too. Well, yours is irrelevant. I've concluded that the Dreamcaster is useless. Hmm, yep. Therefore, I need to find the witch who gave it to me and demand a new one. Oh, come on. What? It's not the Dreamcaster has grown weak. It's the king's negativity that is growing stronger. So you say, but what proof do you have? Even if you get another Dreamcaster, so what? This is just going to keep happening over and over. And eventually, there won't be a Dreamcaster that's strong enough. Again, what do you base this claim on? Ugh, enough, Jack. You can't keep delaying the inevitable like this. Oh, the inevitable? Do tell me what that is, Marion. <laughs> get two feathers! That's the solution. Double the power. His Majesty needs to die. Come again? He's not just going to sleep it off, Jack. He's gone mad. How dare you talk about His Majesty that way? We both know how this ends. Do we now? Just look at this place. You keep dilly-dallying around while the castle rots around us. You're the king! Do something! Dot dot dots. Well? Are you quite finished, Marion? <sighs> I'm sorry, Jack. I apologize. I spoke out of line. I won't take it back, though. I meant what I said. You've gotten stubborn. I don't like it. I'm not here for you to like me. The king stays asleep. Understood. Our next move is to find some somehow find the witch without leaving the king unattended. That's all I needed from you today. Great. Jack is definitely angry at me, but I don't regret my words at all. Jack isn't stupid. He'll come around. I hope. Earthquake. Uh, another earthquake. Let Jack take care of it. Okay, I can't leave it up to him. He might have slept through it. Everything is normal here. Looks like Jack didn't, did come to take care of it. This is so stupid. There his majesty sleeps, only causing trouble. I could, <laughs> I could kill Jack's precious king right here and now. The music, though. <laughs> uh, and Jack could have killed me then. King just twerking in his throne room. Causing an earthquake, you know. Jack had to put him back to sleep. Stop! Stop the twerking! Your ass is too fat, King! But wouldn't I die a hero? Not that anyone would know. Still, I don't fancy myself a martyr. You just keep on sleeping. Why well, still let you? Make sure I lock the door after me. Marion, there you are! Jack again. I'm so sick of seeing his face already. Looks like it wasn't all you needed today. Looks like it wasn't all you needed today after all. I don't pay you to have an attitude. Besides, I clearly said that yesterday. It's still yesterday, all the way until morning. Don't be ridiculous. It's tomorrow after midnight. No, it's not. He's a fucking lie. No, it's not. We all know. Me and you? Me and you, chat? It's not tomorrow until the morning. How else do I justify my lack of sleep sometimes? Anyhow, that doesn't matter one bit. Get back in the lair. So here we are again. You said his majesty need you you said his majesty needs to die. Whoa, whoa, okay, bean slug. I'm not a psychopath, okay? It's yesterday after midnight. Get out of here. But why is that? <sighs> because, Jack, you're the one saying his grief or whatever is gonna warp everyone around him. And that he went mad and will wreak havoc. So we just kill toys who don't behave accordingly. I want to yell. I want to punch this bastard in the face of 10,000 times. Okay, Guard Tree might not be the best song for this. Let's go here. Let's play Jester's Pity. Yeah, there we go. That's a good one. Don't put words in my mouth. I did no such thing. I'm simply framing this differently for you. Is this what you came here for? You figured out how to make me look like the villain, so you ran here head first to tell me? I thought there might be a better reason why you're so willing to kill His Majesty. Can't be that you're only worried about something that might never happen. You're reaching for the knife when the status quo would do just fine. Enough, Jack. We both know how it is. Please enlighten me. What do you mean this time? Why do you keep arguing with me if I'm wrong? Just fire me. Aren't you looking for me to convince you? Ha! That's a mighty fine delusion. It's because once I prove you wrong, I know I'm right. Ha! <sighs> I'm beginning to think you gave me this key to, give me, to get me to do the dirty work. Then you could pretend you didn't know. So I take all the blame, and you don't have to feel bad. You give me too much credit. I gave you the key because I trust you. Because you're right about one thing. I can't afford to risk the king waking up, simply because I'm too busy or dead to cast the spell. 
So help me, Marion. I am helping. Oh my good grief. Is this ever going to end? Probably once the king wakes up and ends the world. Uh, uh, that's it. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Good night, Marion. You pest. <laughs> Rip. The king is going to destroy the tour boxing as we know it because of Jack's stupid sentimentality. Fat chance I can sleep. And should I be going to sleep at this point anyway? It's like five seconds until dawn. Oh god. I want to scream. I want to yell. None of this needs to happen at all. I hope the king chokes on his spit while he sleeps. Why is Jack so stubborn about this? You know, sleep apnea? Serious problem for people? Don't joke about it. That's fucked up. What, was his majesty really such a great guy in the first place? Maybe the Jack needs to die. Or maybe the king needs to die, not Jack. Is Jack in love with him or something? Oh, that, that kind of ruins my plans. Don't say that. What's so great about his majesty? I should just go home, tell my master everything, and hopefully they'll show up with pitchforks. No, I didn't mean that. I'm just tired. Maybe I will sleep for a bit after all. I sleep in. Jack is going to be furious with me. It was my job to cast a spell during mornings. To, to my surprise, Jack isn't here. The glow around the king is weak too. I quickly cast the spell. Weird. Why isn't Jack here? No, actually, it's not weird. Jack trusts me to do this. Of course he'd assume I'd do it, even if we have a fight. I almost screwed the whole castle up just now, huh? I should grow up. Vines. Vines everywhere. Many of them have been sliced off recently. Slices get sloppier and sloppier as I go forward. The guard's sword must have dulled around this point. <laughs> He's ruining his weapon. Dude, just get some shears, man. I wander around the castle aimlessly for a while. I keep, I keep expecting to run into Jack, but I don't. Visit Jack. Sure. Fine. So I might want to see him. Fine. Fine. I hope he isn't mad at me. Uh, he just argued last night, so maybe. Nothing. Jack? No answer. That in itself is an answer, isn't it? Uh, no, no, no. Don't read into it. It's just not in his room right now. I'll try again later. As expected, all the vines I slaved away to cut are back. Hi there. Hi. What's wrong? What's wrong? The vines. There's more vines in here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but think of it this way. If you hadn't cut them, there'd be twice as many of them now, right? Who knows? Maybe? You can have spiteful makeup sex. I don't know if it's going to be spiteful. I feel like it's just going to be hardcore, like, puppet on Jack in the Box, right? <laughs> no. I begrudgingly cut the vines once more. It occurs to me that since these vines come from the king, maybe the king feels me king feels me cutting them. Just a thought makes the activity a little less horrible. Take that, you son of a bitch! Keep testing me. See what happens. I'll cut you right up. Every time. Ha 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 ha! Still no sight of Jack. Is he avoiding me? Really? Would he do something petty like that? Yes. <laughs> yes, he would. He so would. Just to make me run around and worry like this? Well, joke's on you. If you want to avoid me that bad, I'll quit. Good luck keeping the king asleep all by yourself. Uh, I don't know. I should just see what happens tomorrow before I make any assumptions. On my way to my room, I see one of the servant rooms has a light on. I didn't think there were other servants staying on the wing. I decided to, say, to go say hello. No one is here. Did someone just grab something and leave the light on? <laughs> Jack. What are you smiling about? Nothing, nothing. I'm just happy you seem happy. Well, not so happy to inform you. I'm actually not happy right now. Though seeing you jump is always fun to watch. Why are you... What are you doing here? I got tired of moping in my room, so I came to mope here instead. Change in scenery is a change in mind. Uh, right. And I did have a change of mind, unfortunately. Oh? Uh, you're right. Let's get it over with. I've thought about it over and over, but alas, I don't see any other way. I was casting the spell on his majesty today, and I had to do it several times before it took any effect. So, it's time I put the king out of his misery. Yes. Tomorrow, do you understand? Are you sure? What do you? Why do you ask that? Do you want me to change my mind? No, of course not. Then tomorrow it is. That's all I have to say. Jack? Yes. 
You've got a kingdom to run. Indeed, I do. My kingdom! Bow down to your king, peasants. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Eep! That's exactly right. I am the king! Absolutely. Who is your king, Marion? What's that? <laughs> Don't be shy. It's me. I'm the king. Yes, yes. You are my king, of course. You just need the crown, and then you look like one too. Yes, and you look like a queen right now. Huh? huh? Just because of that, I'll let you sleep in my bed tonight. Your bed is in the box in your room, isn't it? Of course. <sighs> my neck is really gonna hurt tomorrow. Oh yeah, neck. Sure. My soul hurt a little bit there. That little little banter at the end there. Never mind, you're right. They're going to have spiteful, spiteful makeup sex. That doll's... I, I don't even want to say it. It's going to hurt in the morning. It's not just going to be the neck. The box bed is about to be... It's about as comfortable as you'd expect. I don't mind. Oh! Um. Finally, this missing king mess comes to an end. Oh. Walk around looking for something to kill a sleeping man with. Oh, I, I really am a murderer in this run. Just full-on murder. A knife comes to mind, but I don't know how to ask the cook for it. Like, excuse me, Annette, can I get a knife for no reason? Thank you. Galiothos has a sword, but I doubt he'll part with it. Suppose I could find rope. Oh, God. Just smother him with the pillow. Jesus. I find Jack in his tower as expected. Welcome back. I couldn't find anything. I could, and I did. His Majesty has a sword, but I will not harm him with that. But I told Galiathos I saw some rats in the garden. He lent me one of his daggers. Whenever you're ready. Oh, why did you bring up the king's sword then? Jack takes an Jack takes an extraordinary long time with everything. Well, I mean he he does know the king personally. The king rests peacefully. Jack looks ready to back out. This needs to be done. I know. Do you want me to do it? No, I'll do it. You being- he doesn't. I wait. Jack has the dagger, but it's not pointing at the king. I don't know why exactly, but I know he won't do it. Something about his posture, or maybe the look on his face. I can't do it. There it is. Jack. I can't do it, Marion. He's my king. So that's how it's going to be? I grab Jack's hand, still holding the dagger, and stab the king with him. Oh! He's badly aimed, and the king starts trashing and yelling in his sleep. Jack finishes the king off with one swift strike, ending his majesty's agony. <laughs> Marion! Marion, please! You're you're kind of a psycho killer. Yes, Kase? Had he done so from the start, I doubt the king would have felt anything. <laughs> yeah, you just put him in misery before he died. <laughs> That's like the worst possible thing you could do. It's done. You just scarred Jack's memory of the king forever. I am the king. Yes. King Jack. King Jack. <laughs> I am the king. I bow my head. No, what? Stop that. You're the one who shed away my weaknesses. You are my equal. I don't think that's how it works. Your thinkings are none of my concern. What contradictory messages? Marion, my love. You will rule with me. I will? Yes, it's in order. So much for being equal, huh? Quit this nitpicking. I'm asking you to marry me. Huh? Oh, I had no idea. Good grief. Well, which is it? Marriage! Let's not. Well, um, we'll, we'll change this save. Yes. Change number nine. We're going backwards now. Because I'm confusing. Marriage! Dude, he lifted me up. Dude, dude's a jack-in-the-box, and he lifted me up. That's pretty great. Wonderful. Though I won't actually marry you. What? Huh? I need offspring. I need a queen. <laughs> no! No! That's true. Still, my heart. Have it, Marion. It's all yours. When no one is looking. No, I'm a, I'm a concubine! Still, we got to, we got to smash. Alright. I've got an idea. Yes? You dared to say yesterday that my precious bed reminded you of a coffin. Well, it is a oh, well, it is a wooden box with padding. 
busting that bussy so many times. He need he's the king, man. This is normal for a king. Yes, yes. Anyhow, I'm done with hiding in it. Bring it here. Oh, come on. I'd have to drag it down and upstairs. Are you serious? Yes, and I'm also the king. Bring me my box. And also, I want to say goodbye to my friend. Alone. I see. Okay. Maybe you should have done that before we brutally murdered the king. I maneuver Jack's box down from the tower and then back up to the king's chamber. We place the king in the box. Oh! Jack locks it up. Then we carry the box into the hallway together. Round up the guards. I'm going to claim my throne. I have no idea what he's planning, but I do what he says. Soon the guards arrive, and I'm told to get lost. Um? The next day, Jack has his guards carry the box to town, along with some dead wood. I doubt they have any idea what's inside. Jack announces that since the king has been missing for so long, his majesty is declared dead. He will inherit the throne and shed his identity as a jack-in-the-box. Then in a grand gesture, he sets his old box on fire. Oh my god! The crowd seems to accept this, though there are no cheers. It is a day of mourning. <laughs> Jack is now the rightful king of Toy Boxian. I help him rule the land from the shadows. Nice. Oh, it's nighttime now. Bigger nice. The shadows. And as much as Jack claims he's going to marry a princess, he never does. I think it's because no princess wants to put up with Jack. Or become the queen of the castle where a king has mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> True. But I'm glad Jack is the king. He's moody, whiny, and has a temper. I'm the one keep him in him, keeping him in check. Sometimes he admits that he loves me. Though he'll claim he was lying soon after. What a piece of work. Our king. Hey, hey, that's a dub! Win! That's a dub. That's a dub. Right there, that's a dub. Alright! So, we are the, the hottest fem, the femboy in the land. We are the queen femboy, okay? Nice. And the king's bussy bopping is never getting tired. Also, we're a power top, okay? I don't care if we're the femboy. We're the top. Maybe we're a power bottom. Maybe we swap. Who knows? Not me. <laughs> not me. That's not my business, okay? All I know is that they're doing it, okay? All right, that is the first ending in the Jack route. I think we can get the other ending very quickly. Like, very, very quickly. If I just decline the marriage proposal. Let's not. Ah, uh, well. Can't have everything, I suppose. Just the whole kingdom. <laughs> 100% agree, Jack is going to sit back and take it. Yeah, look at him. I'm going to stuff his box. <laughs> oh, God. I've got an idea. Yes? You dared to say yesterday that my precious bed reminded you of a coffin? Well, it is a wooden box with padding. Oh, yeah, I completely gapped on that. Did they just burn the king alive in front of everyone? Or dead. Burn the king dead in front of everyone. But still, kind of fucked up. Wooden box with padding. Yes, yes. Anyhow, I'm done with hiding in it. Bring it here. Okay, so this is the same. Bring my box. I want to say goodbye. I see you. Okay. Place the king in the box. Uh, soon the guards arrive. I'm told to get lost. Okay, this is the same. They have no idea what's going on. Uh, Jack is the king. Crowd seems to accept this. No cheers. Day of mourning. Okay. Rightful king of Toy Boxian. I, ha I help him rule the land from the shadows. Oh, you still help. Okay. Subjects voice the subjects voice their complaints from time to time, but me and Jack have everything under control. Oh, okay. So this is kind of like we didn't marry Jack, but we're still like kind of an advisor. But it's mainly Jack's ending. He is happy. We're just like we're just some like his side toy. We just like we're just friends with benefits in this run. Okay. All right, that's pretty good, I guess. Okay. Okay. How do you guys feel about that one? What do you guys prefer? The good ending or the the romantic ending? Or the uh the just advisor one? Jack's going with the going in the jar? I don't get it. Okay. Uh I guess I guess I didn't save it all, actually. I just realized. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to the main menu. Okay, just to make sure we got that. So that was two more endings. Okay, there we go. So new kings. So new kings. And we got King Jack. Both good endings. Both good endings. Your innocent, uncultured swine. The bussy bounce ending. Previous ending. Yeah, this was a much better ending for both of us. 
Okay, we got three endings left, boys. We got three endings left. Let's let's rush it. Let's rush them. We got this, okay? We got this. For sure, we got this. Okay. But I do have to start right from this one, I believe, where we were before. Maybe not, actually. Shit. I actually don't know. What did Jack mean the king isn't missing? His majesty is clearly missing. It means Jack knows where the king is, right? So then Jack must have... Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll start over again. Wait, okay, let me, let me... One man. I don't know where I actually loaded from. The, the first save. The first thing. Okay, we're gonna be doing a lot of skipping. Because we gotta... We're just gonna do this. Okay. So, take a peek. Open the box. Inside is a bed. Also, so this one's gonna be a lot of skipping. Uh, so if you haven't watched part one and part two, check them out. Uh, but, and if you didn't, if you skipped to this at part of the video, you may want to go back to the beginnings, because I'm only gonna read the parts that we haven't read, okay? Who would want to sleep stuffed in a square space? <laughs> you're Marion, you're Marion Marionette. <laughs> you scared me, Mr. Jack. I'm sorry, it was my full intention. I was looking for you, and you have found me. What are you gonna do next, hmm? Uh, I bet you didn't think that far. No, I didn't. Bet you don't think at all. Okay, so that's that's what we've seen. Okay. Oh. Wait. What? Uh, kitchen. Uh, let's kitchen. Whatever. How'd you get in? Let's just go with Sylvester. Let's skip. You don't have to tell me. She got into beatboxing. Huh? Can't believe it. Now her core sounds like it's jammed broken. Oh, yeah, sister. Yeah, okay. Are you friends? I suppose one could call us that. But I prefer the word acquaintances. What do you ask? Uh, no reason. N no reason. I see. Oh, my answer was satisfactory. Yes, yes, of course. This is a conversation for another time. <laughs> one man. His hand. Just find the king. Right. Okay. Okay, we got, we're gonna skip ahead. Uh, let's follow them. Yep. Okay, so now we go better off on my own. This is how you start the Jack route. I'm sorry it's important. Of course you're sorry. You're one of those toys who are always sorry about everything. Yeah, sorry. If you're so sorry, you shouldn't have bothered me in the first place. But since I already did, don't you want to hear why? Not really. Even if it's about your castle? Today, two toys stuck in here. Liar. I've heard nothing about this. I'm the only one who saw them. They were rummaging about, looking for the king. They didn't find anything, but they'd be back tomorrow. Where did they came, Where did they say they came in from? Okay, so this is the same. This is how you continue it. Let's cut them. Let's cut them. So no more unwanted visitors can sneak in. What fun would that be? Let those rats climb right in. I'll have Galiathos greet them with a squad. Will they live? <laughs> Marion, what are you taking me for? A monster? I have a lot of questions for them. I see. That's a relief. Marion? Yes? Good eye spotting these vermin. Thank you. I admit, I had my doubts about you. Especially since I caught you red-handed rummaging my room. But I'm delighted to be proven wrong. Glad to hear it. You'll be taking care of cutting them down the vines from now on. Along with your other work, of course. Sounds like we're getting punished. Okay, so this is the same, so we're gonna skip ahead. Uh, good word, or why are you telling us? Why are you telling us? Why, why? Uh, I, it's just, I just wanted to let you know. Looks disheartened. Well, you did good. Th thank you. The guard cheers right up. Castle's safe again, thanks to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's nothing. Have a good day. La 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 la. Okay. It looks like he just wanted some praise. I remember that, but last time it was nice. We're gonna skip ahead. Uh, and I still haven't shown you around, have I? I managed by myself, so I'll say that's okay this time. That's okay. Don't be so condescending. It was my mistake, and I apologize. I accept your apology. Why, thank you. You're welcome? I am. How kind of you. No problem? I sure am glad to hear that. What other hollow pleasantries may we exchange during this fine evening? 
Uh, poor Marion. Don't be sad. Anyhow, that's not even why I'm here. I see. For a moment there, I wondered. Come again. Thought how surprisingly caring it was of you to make sure I knew my way around. But now I see that it wasn't it. Oh, but I am caring, Marion. Okay, wait. I did do just that, didn't I? Yes, as an afterthought. How petty of you to completely dis disregard my sentiments just because of that. No, actually, how needy, I should say. Should be all about you, huh? Uh, no, I didn't mean that. Oh, poor Marion. That mean old Jack didn't come here just to pamper you. The disappointment. The heartache. No, Jack. Ha ha ha. Jokes aside, didn't you say there was two sno toys sneaking in here yesterday? Yes. Only one showed up. Okay, this is the same. So we're gonna skip ahead. Okay, I didn't skip very far. But he's a music box. He's a music box. He's a music box. Thank you. That was everything I needed. Alright, good night, Jack. Time to get some sleep. Okay, so I think that's it. So we're gonna skip ahead. Um... What do we do? Describe Sylvester, describe lies. I think last time we described Sylvester. Describe lies. She was a woman with a lot of jewelry. Her eyes were different colors, too. Also, she wore a potato sack for a dress. Oh, but hold up. She, uh, wore jewels and a potato sack? Yes. Uh, fashion changes so fast. I hope you find her. Yes, thank you. You've been a great help, Martin. Mario? That should make it easier for Syl to walk around. Keep me up to date with any new information. There's nothing more for me here. Okay. Uh, let's skip ahead. Because I'm stupid. Because I'm stupid. She's gonna call us Mayo one of these days, true. Ugh, spare me from your pity party. Although, true, I kinda, I just want the Galiothos to have one ending, okay? Just one ending for Galiothos. One ending for Gally. I suppose I'll leave it at that, then. Aren't I, aren't I benevolent? Yes, Jack, the very image of a saint. I need you to come with me to the dungeons. Er, Why? It occurred to me, you should confirm this is the same rabbit you saw the other day. Okay, so this is the same. Very minor differences. Very minor differences. Uh, he's lying. I did it for you. I did talk to him. When I saw them at the castle, I approached them. I knew they were up to something, so I played along. Because I wanted to know what they were up to. I didn't want them to run away, because I couldn't catch them alone. Say, Marion. Enough from around here at all. Wasn't that right? I, yes, from the countryside. Okay, that I remember. I said, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I said we know. I had no idea. Funny, I did send that information there. Er, but Jack, it's nothing like here at the capital. Toys there don't know anything about anything. I mean, there's been some rumors, but... I see. You didn't happen to hear those rumors and decide to work, start... Okay, this is pretty much the same as last time. Alright. Did come... Okay, and she gives it up anyways. Okay. So we skip. I have a job now. I did come here for the king, but now I have a sort of steady job, so I don't know. Seems you weren't all that curious then. Well, I just think it might be over my head. That it is. Well, since you've shared all out with me, let me give you something to mull over. Huh? The king isn't missing. Huh? Then where is he? Alive? Okay, so this is the same he's gonna tell us he's alive, the king. Uh... What I just told you was for your ears only. You got that. But why? I don't understand. You said his mag magnificent ability you have uh, to obey orders. What did I just tell you? I have, or, I mean, you said that one toy isn't dead. But it seems to me everyone else thinks he is. I, for one, would love to know if he's alive. And I think everyone else should know, too. You think so, huh? Well, do what you will, then. I'll keep quiet, since that's what you, to what you told me to do. We'll see. This is some test, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, guards eating. Okay, we all, we go past them. Uh, me. Me, maybe? Aren't you full of yourself? <laughs> it's just, I thought maybe you were being nice. Why would I need to be nice to be a servant? Why would I need to be nice to a servant? Yeah, yeah, I already feel like an idiot. So please, let's talk about something else. Come to think of it, everyone using it was eating at the dining hall, except... Why wasn't his majesty having dinner? Okay, so this is her just being stu- or him being stupid again. Uh, now that I think about what a horrible inconvenience you've been to everyone. Will do. Great. Good night. Sun hasn't even set yet. But since I've been ordered to stay in this room, I will- Jack seems to be in a good mood. I don't want to ruin that. 
I have a hard time getting to sleep. What did Jack mean the king is missing? Okay, skip head. Uh, he killed the king. That must be. He claims his majesty is alive, but that has got to be a lie. Why else would the king be completely out of the picture for months? We're also just... I'm trying to pick every other option that I didn't pick the first time, so... Just to let you know. Jack wanted to be the king himself. That's got to be it. <sighs> Guessing won't do much about it. Guessing about it won't do any good. I'll just have to find the truth out by myself. Jack knows the answers. That's I'm sure. That I'm sure of. Unless he's just messing with me. Which seems pretty likely now that I think about it. Full of question marks. We're going to skip. So I decided to retreat. Uh, some friend you are. Some friend... Oh, I think I picked that one. Whoops. I, well, I think I picked that one, okay, in the last run. And last time we picked nothing so far, so let's pick... Well, there's one thing. Jack told me the king is alive and not missing. Oh? Well, if his majesty is alive, I'm most delighted. But I don't know what to make of that second claim. Me neither. You are doing well. Thanks. I will come by again. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later, nerd. Okay, so you get to work... Okay. No, no one has ever seen the woman you described. It's like she doesn't even exist. <gasps> Are you saying it was a ghost? <laughs> a ghost? How else could she just vanish? I don't know. Maybe she lives elsewhere. She doesn't live. She's a ghost. Um, er, I, uh, don't think it was a ghost. Why not? I'm just going to, um, go now. You're weird. Bye. Bye. Continue giving myself a repetitive strain injury. Okay, that that is the same. Uh, so... What did I pick last time? Sorry, I have to, like, remember. Should I stop talking to you? Let's do that. Should I stop talking to you? What kind of an idiot assumption is that? Well, you just said... Don't be so literal. I think over your complaints, so run along already. Right. Thank you. I think me and Jack are getting along. Kill Jack, of course. Okay, that's the same. So then... Minor developments. Some minor developments. I think this is the same, actually. Oh. I've heard about the king, but I think me and Jack could be friends. Oh, yeah, and then he said, why do you think so? Just because he did tell me the king is alive. So I think he wants to talk to me about it, but can't yet. Hmm. I'll trust your judgment on this matter. Hope you get some results soon. Tch. Good night. Okay, he's a bit, a bit of a dick. Okay, skip ahead. So. Uh, how is that a promotion? How is that a promotion? How is it not? I hope you're not saying you prefer dirty dishes over me. Your words, not mine. Indeed, they're mine, and so are you. So this is this castle and everything in it. Little do I care about your opinion, anyway. Promotion is a promotion. You're accepting it, or you're fired. Alright, with choices like that, I'll take the promotion. Now I have some important business to take care of. Consider yourself lucky you get to come along. Okay, so this is the same. Okay, skip. Oh, wow. Uh, if, if you say so. If you say so. Yes, I say so. And I take it you disagree with me? I have no right to say was it for the best or not. Heh, <laughs> that's right. You don't know anything. No, I don't. But at least you believe me. That's enough for now. Anyhow, that's your new job. Huh? What? Okay, so that's the same. Skip ahead. It's really just an excuse that Jack can be? Probably so. It has to be. Jack loves being the king. I bet there's nothing wrong with the real king at all. Or else did he feel the need to convince me so bad? For now, I'll just play along with whatever Jack is up to. Oh, hello. Hi. You seem, uh, not happy. I'm a bit tired. Oh, okay. Awkward silence. Uh, so, care to, uh, hear how my s search is going? Sure. The, uh, the intruder. She li She is- She lives at a farm outside the capital. What? No, she doesn't. I made her up. Yes, she matches perfectly, and she's angry at King Jack, too. Uh, according to other toys, she was caught saying she wants Jack dead. Oh, man. Indeed. i per pretty sure I got it right. Uh, all I need now is um permission to break into her house. Oh, FBI? Galley are those? Galley? 
is that really necessary at this point? He's not doing anything anymore. This is a matter of, of the king's security. I can't believe you would even suggest brushing it aside. Yeah, you're right. You won't kill her or anything like that, right? Of course not. She will go through a trial. Then she'll be guilty, and I'll execute her. I see. I should get going. See you, nerd. I gotta... I gotta... I gotta bust in someone's house. Well, I hope it won't be too much of a pain for her. <laughs> you just put, I just put someone in jail because I lied. To be fair, to be fair, if that bitch is running around wearing a potato sack and jewelry, she deserves to go to jail, okay? That is a fashion crime. Anyway. <laughs> I'm like clearing my thoughts at all. Call it a day and go to sleep, okay? Uh, congrats on... Okay, so I think I said that, so I'll just say, um, thanks. Um, thanks? Uh, I wanted to surprise you. But look at this thing. It's probably still edible. Under the burn bits. No way, it's all... Okay, this is the same. Okay. So you don't know. So you don't know. Of course I know. And I would think you know too, after everything I've told you. But alas, dark connecting just isn't your thing, Marion. Sorry, sorry. Or maybe you think you know more than you actually told me. What have I failed to tell you then? Oh, this is the same. Okay. You have faith in me too. I'd love to, but I can't. I don't know all that much about you. Who could you really be? Um, or... Heh. <laughs> Enough of this place. Let's get out of here. No, wait. What? Isn't this... Okay, and that's the same. He needs to redo it. It was a disaster! Oh no. Me and my men, we uh, we visited her house. Visited as in kicked the door in, right? We yelled FBI. <laughs> Open up. Right, well, she wasn't uh, pre prepared for that and... Oh, Galeothos! What? She uh, had a heart attack. Oh my god! Uh, I, I couldn't do anything. We got her some help, but... But, well, it didn't work out. Man. Yes. That's my fault, isn't it? She got scared to death because she accidentally matched my made-up description. It's sad, but she had it coming for, for trespassing in the castle. She didn't... Oh, no, she didn't! <laughs> Gally! <laughs> when all this is said and done, I don't think Gally is going to get away with it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, now I have to write my report. I have to get all the details right, but because there'll be an investigation against me. <laughs> oh, dude, it's gonna get fired. I'm, I'm really nervous. What, what if I forget something? You'll be fine. Yes, yes, I hope so. The guard leaves. Man, now I feel awful. <laughs> I know that was funny as fuck. <laughs> I should get to work. Nemle, that was a good one. And I'm not gonna waste another minute cutting these vines. Curse or something. They're never ending. Perhaps I'll check the kitchen if. Okay, this is the same. Uh, okay, wait, what do we do? Hmm. Let's go check on the king. Most of the grinds grew around the, the king. This is the opposite. I hope his majesty is okay. As expected, the vine's growing wild around here. But the door's locked. I can't get in. I should get the guard. No, I can't tell him anything. Why did I come here? Get out of the way. Jack. Jack disappears in the king's lair. I hesitate and miss my chance to follow him. Soon the vines stop growing. Oh, he closed the door behind him. Everything goes quiet. Jack opens the door. What are you standing there for? What happened? Come in. Okay, I think that's uh, the same. So now... This dude doesn't seem that way to me. Okay, but I think this is what we picked. What do you know? You don't know anything. You know that the king is dangerous. Okay, yeah. That's the same. So, okay. Going badly. Tell Master it's going badly. Right back that I really, really need some bug repellent. And that Master should... Come look at the carrots himself. Their defects are really worth seeing. I can't tell Master what I've learned so far in the letter. I hope he finds a way to come visit. Yeah, because I haven't been growing carrots. <laughs> it's nice being out. Actually, I have been this whole time. And Bunny's been eating them. God damn it, Bunny. I've been stuck in the castle for what feels like forever. Okay, this is the same. Uh, how dare they? These people have no idea what's going on. Or how well Jack has managed everything. I mean, toy boxing isn't burning it, is it? There's no war or famine. In fact, Jack is the only reason the place hasn't been warped to oblivion by their beloved king. 
<laughs> I like how it was nice this time. This whole play playthrough, I've been kind of mean to Jack. I mail my letter and go back to the castle, fuming with anger. Peasants. Yeah, goddamn peasants. Okay, Jack's in the window. We wave hi. Uh, I'll help, of course. The last time we said I'm only helping Jack, I'll say I'm, I'll help, of course. <sighs> what am I getting so angry for? <laughs> I've been growing vines. You know, we've been growing some vines. We're gonna We're gonna grow some wine. Through the vines, some grapes on these vines, bitches. Winery. That'd be nice. Of course, I'm supposed to help. This is the true king of Bland. The reason I came here in the first place was to find him. I can't stay here. I'm getting too upset. Okay, this is the same. All right. But isn't it frustrating? It it can't be, but it has to it has to be done. And I don't mind. I see. You're right. I feel stupid for complaining so much. Want some help? That's that would be great. We take out some vines together. Wow, that was nicer this time actually, than flattering him. Although I'm still gonna get in Galliathos's pants somehow. I bet you. I bet you, chat. We're gonna get inside Galliathos's pants. Galliathos's pants are necessary for this playthrough. Letter has been placed on the table. It's from Master. I'm sorry to hear the carrots are bad. I can't come to help you because seeing me is bad luck for the harvest. <laughs> I'm that ugly. But remember, there will always be more carrot competitions. If things get really bad, come back home. That's all he's written. I do think about going home, of course, but I doubt Jack can handle keeping the king asleep by himself. Oh, I wish the king would just die. Okay, that's... Yeah, she did. Mod the game if I have to, but make Galley an option. Yeah, I'll just change out Jack for Galliathos, the model. We'll just do that. Uh, this isn't working. This is what I picked last time. I'm gonna, okay, yeah, this is what we picked last time. It's working. Uh, it could be. Could be. Oh, I already picked this one. Okay, skip. Should have picked the other one. Whoops. Uh, Jack, I don't. Marion. Sylvester climbs in from the window. Okay. Oh, hello. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. It's been a while since I've heard anything from you or Bunny. Oh, yeah, I've been a bit, uh, I see. Any news about the king? Sylvester has no idea. I could explain it all to him, Marion, but I don't want to. Who is this person anyway? No, nothing. That's unfortunate. Keep at it. I'm sure you'll find something out soon. Don't hold your breath. I should leave. Sorry to disturb you. Off he goes. He'll probably never come back. Good. Don't stick your nose into our business, outsider. <laughs> I love how the route we just did before this in part two was all about like making getting getting in on his good side. Now we're just like fuck that guy. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who are you? You don't even work in the castle. Yeah, butt out, music boy. I sleep in. Jack is gonna be furious with me. Okay, this is the same. So instead of visiting Jack, we'll visit the cook this time. Forget Jack. If he wants to stay away, then good. I expected all the vines I slaved away to cut her back. Hi there. Hi. What's wrong? Uh, hmm. I had a uh, uh, Jack. It's Jack. I think I made him mad. Yikes. Getting on the bad side of our king? Huh? Oh, that's right. Other toys respect Jack. <laughs> Somehow that completely slipped my mind. Well, don't worry. We're so sure of staff right now. He can't afford to execute you. <laughs> you have a surprisingly morbid sense of humor. She's seen things, okay? But I've grudgingly cut the vines once more. It occurs to me that since these vines come from the king, maybe the king feels me cutting them. Just thought makes the activity a little less horrible. Take that, you son of a bitch! Okay, that's the, that's the same. Uh, would he do something petty like that? No. No, I don't think so. We're just completely wrong about Jack in this run. If he doesn't want to see me, he'd do something overdramatic, like exile me or something. He's probably just busy. I hope. I should just see what happens tomorrow before I make any assumptions. Uh, on my way to my room, I see one of the servant light rooms have a light on. I don't think there were other servants staying on this wing. I decided to go say hello. No one is here. Is someone... Okay, yeah. Heh, <laughs> that's right. Tomorrow, Marion. Don't be late. Tomorrow. Oh? Okay. Finally, this missing king com miss mess comes to an end. Is this just the same ending? Walk around looking for something to kill a sleeping man with. Okay, well... Horrendous. Search my mind for something tactful to say. How do you want to do this? I don't. How will we do this? His Majesty has a sword, but I will not harm him with that. Told Galioths. Okay. 
okay, so we do the, the killing for Jack. Is this just the same ending? I must have blocked by a ribcage. I panic and start stabbing the king repeatedly. The king stops moving, and the glow around his majesty fades away. Wonderful, Marion. Just great. Oh my god, I'm, I'm covered in blue blood. That's amazing, by the way. Nice touch. Blue blood by the king. Great. That was the worst. <laughs> I'm just covered in it. That was the worst way his majesty's life could have ended in this situation. Yeah, it was. Ah. Quiet. Sniff. What's done is done. We need to figure out how to bury his majesty. But, but he's supposed to be missing. Will you shut up? Are you suggesting we leave his majesty to rot until someone follows the stench and finds him? No. Jack lays the king's head back of the pillow and tucks him in. As if the king is going back to sleep. I want to be alone with the king. Go get my box. It is in my room. Yeah. Clean yourself up before someone sees you. I'm just covered in the king's blood. Oh. Hey, yo, boys, what's up? Woke up, it's 3.53. Not for me, it's 9.53. Maneuver Jack's box down from the tower and then back up the king's chamber. Place the king in the box. Jack locks it up. Then we carry the box in the hallway together. Round up the guards. I'm going to claim my throne. I have no idea what he's planning, but I do what he says. Soon the guards arrive, and I'm told to get lost. Okay, so this is the same... King's been dead. He will inherit the throne. Grand Jester set the box on fire. No cheers for him. Day of mourning. I take some time off and go back home to see my master. Master and the others are dying to know what I found out about the king. I'm torn. Should I tell them or not? I pretend I don't know anything, then return to the castle for some more investigation. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just happy to go back. Oh, wait. I just realized the music stopped. Here, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry. Ha, huh, bozos, it's 7.54. You guys are freaks. It's it's 9.54 p.m. EST. Honestly, I'm just happy to go back, so I don't have to deal with this dilemma. Jack expresses his gratitude, but he never approaches me just to spend time. I tell myself it's because he's busy ruling Toy Boxian, but deep down I know he hates me for what I did to the king. <laughs> oh my god, that's the bad ending, right? Whoops-a-daisy. I love how... Marion is a boy, by the way, but this is how Nemle Nemle really made a femboy. That was the first game. Femboy gay love. It's okay to be a femboy. It's all good. That's the right choice, honestly. I missed my chance. Don't miss yours. Be a femboy. It's a good idea to release toxic gases in Paris. What the fuck is that? What are you even saying? That has nothing to do with this game, man. Come on. No, they're just talking about weird stuff again. Keep it on topic, guys. Come on. Yeah, we're, we got... Do I actually have to mod the chat chat? Good advice all around. The femboy advice, yeah. Uh, two suit. Okay, so poor guy. Okay, so I killed him. Okay, let's uh let's see what we got now in the endings. So we're missing two endings. We're just missing two. This is good. I think we're gonna wrap it up pretty soon, actually. Wh which one was that, by the way? Oh, that was this one, King's End. I guess they're kind of bad these endings. I don't know. I don't really know how the orders are really done, cause like, Jacks are like here, here, and here. This is Sylvester's in the bottom. These three were bunnies. What, what is this order, man? And who's going to be this? This is going to be Galiathos. Or the cook. But that'd be really sudden, right? Okay. Um. Okay. We'll ask around. We'll skip. Tell them. Sure. Kitchen. Skip. Uh, skip. Okay, uh... Doing here... So... Blah, blah, blah... We gotta skip ahead a little bit. Okay, we gotta enter the jack route again. Okay. You're going to be seeing a lot of skipping here because we're just going to go for the Jack neutral ending, okay? That's what I'm going for right now. So, I'm probably... We've already gone through almost all the choices. So, yeah.
Okay. I just gotta do some random things. First time. Okay. Okay. Still insist we find a way to get Bunny out of the dungeons. What now? Look for okay, this I've seen this. I think so far. Okay, it must be him. Do you like being the king? Sure, we'll do that. Okay. Okay, we've seen this. Keep tapping on me, coming on and on like that. It's supposed to be mention here. If he gets caught visiting me, Jack will hear about it. And then all the times I've been spent here, cutting his spines has been for nothing. Can't tell him to piss off either. He could turn against me. Hmm. I should get some rest. Okay. Looking forward to it. Okay, we're in the... We're in the important room. It was for the best. The king isn't sad anymore. Yes. What is it? I can't keep him asleep. I'm not sure why it's important he is asleep. Being a bit depressed isn't the end of the world or anything. I won't question it for now. Jack seems to be in a shaky mood. Anyhow, that's where you come in. Huh? What? Okay, so that's the same. When are they going to kiss? We already went through that, dude. You're so blind. You gotta watch the VOD now. Now we're cleaning up endings, okay? So we're just skipping like crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna say I understand. I understand. Good. Let's never bring it up again. <sighs> well, we're done here for today. No, wait. What? Isn't this? Jack inspects the king closer. Okay, so it's dimmer, so he has to try again. Guess we'll have to watch from YouTube. Yeah, the YouTube video is gonna be going up. Uh, I'm gonna upload them day by day. This is definitely, this is gonna be like seven and a half hours total, like the whole playthrough. So, if you're joining halfway through this stream, I'm sorry. We can't replay the game. <laughs> but uh, you can watch the VOD on Twitch for now if you want. Like, the VOD on Twitch you can watch. And then you can watch the YouTube video once I upload it. Probably sometime at the end of this week. This dude, I've literally kissed everyone but Galiathos at this point. And the cook. Galiathos and the cook, okay? I have to tell Jack... Okay, skip. Okay. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? The king's just tired of everything. Just needs some time to take it easy. I'm sure once he's properly rested, he'll feel better. Then he won't curse the place anymore. That's... Do you think that's all it takes? Look, Marion, I've known the king ever since we were kids. He's always been a bit moody, and every time he got into one of those bouts of sadness, he would sleep it off. This is the same thing, just more severe this time, so it takes longer. I see, and we just have to hold on for now. That's right. I'm glad we're on the same page about this. Anyhow, now that the Dreamcaster's grown weaker, I really need to show, show you how to use it. Okay, take turns. I'm gonna skip ahead. So. Tell Master everything is fine. How dare they. These people have no idea what's going on. How well Jack's managed everything. I mean, toy boxing isn't burning, is it? It's no way war or famine. In fact, Jack is the only reason the place hasn't been warped to oblivion by the beloved king. Okay, we're angry. Peasants! Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of skanking. Sounds good. Key is for the king's lair, and the king's lair only. So don't bother trying it on any other doors. It makes me want to try it on all the doors of the castle. Your time is yours to waste, as you wish. But whenever I'm not around, I want you to go cast the spell. Like I said, the Dreamcaster is in the chest by the bed. I understand. Glad to hear it. Hope you understand the implications, too. Huh? The king will wreak havoc if he awakens. He awakens unless you and I help keep him asleep. Yes? Do you reckon you can leave now? Uh, you're stuck. Can't be helped. True, and it's only until the king recovers. Says that as if we both didn't know that's not going to happen. I'm fine with that. Thought I'd work here for a few months or so. 
But would you look at that? Full-time job. Lucky me. Lucky you. Comes with an exotic location, fully covered rent, and food to boot. Did you strike a great deal? What do you do all day anyway? Babysit. How dare you? King is no baby. Which king do you think I'm talking about? Looking forward to driving each other insane, Marion. I almost said Mar Marlin. Me too. <laughs> yes, yes, enough of that. Go test the key. Cast the sleep spell while you're at it. Right. Key works fine. Oh. My bad, my bad. Key works fine. Spellcaster works fine too. King sleeps with a frown. Frown back at him. Some king this is. Okay, so this is the same. Uh, I'm only helping Jack. Jack is doing fine as new king. If Sleepy manages to hate the world so bad, how about he just ended himself? We need to take his misery out on the rest of the world. Okay, uh, we're gonna skip ahead. Such a man, Galiothos. We're gonna fuck Galiothos, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off his suit of armor. Like a hero. My hero. Wish I had a man like you. Huh? <laughs> yes. Apparently. Sometimes. No, not, not right now. Okay, we're skipping. Did you break my Dreamcaster? No. Oh, I hope not. I don't think so. Jack tries to cast a spell too, but the glow remains as it is. Is that it? Is that all? The spell is weak. The Dreamcaster is weak. Maybe the king is just too strong. What are we going to do? Nothing we can do about it for now. So I have to keep casting the spell more often. How often? As often as it takes. What makes you think I know? You don't need to raise your voice. Who knows? You might just wake his majesty up. Ha! <laughs> Go be elsewhere, Marion. Need some time to think. Alright, see you later, Jack. Okay. Hoping you showed up. Here I am. What do you need? Okay, pesky vines. Skip ahead. Okay, we've already picked this one. You think so? Yeah, I don't think they have anything to do with each other. Hope so. Don't worry, you're overthinking it. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, key skip. Ah, that is a good idea. Indeed it is. My Dreamcaster has been in constant use for months. Of course it is weakened. Where's the witch? I'm not sure. I'll have Galiathos search for her. Neither of us should leave the castle. Kate might- Okay, so this is- This ending is going for- If we just kept going with Jack's plan of just keeping the king asleep forever. The king might need the spell unexpectedly again. Right. That is to say, the problem is solved. <laughs> There's ten endings, yeah. This is gonna be number nine we're going for right now. You can rest easy now. That's a relief. Yes. Wasn't the solution a simple one all along? It's amazing what you can overlook when you get too wrapped up in a mess. As long as the witch hasn't died. Don't say things like that. <laughs> I'll leave you to your business now. Goodbye. Finally, some good news. Okay. I haven't slept this well in a long time. A time. The guard seems to be double-checking his belongings. Hello. Hello! Going somewhere? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. I was, uh... I have some business to take care of. You won't tell me, but little does he know. I know all about it. Who will look after the castle while you're out? My subordinates are... Or, will be fine for a few days. I think. Oh, but... I do have a favor to... I, I do have a flavor to ask of you. Favor. Favor! I mean favor. A favor to ask of you. He gets so flirtatious, Galiathos. He, get, he gets so, like, so happy when he's around me. It's nice. There's definitely got to be a way to flirt with him, right? What is it? Guard looks Guard looks around nervously. Do I not know his name in this run? Um, um, you don't have to, but Jack doesn't want to feed the prisoners, but, but we, we shouldn't starve toys, at least not before the trial. Maybe you could give them some food while I'm away? Uh, okay. Sure, I can do that much. Thank you. I knew you would understand. It's not a problem. Well, I have to get get going now. Take care, Mitch. <laughs> you two, guard. Yeah, that's all you get, Galiathos. Guard. I bet Bunny will be absolutely disguided to see, delighted to see me. Not. Hunger Games down there. They're just eating rats. They're just killing rats right now, eating them, slurping the blood out raw. And I'm just gonna walk down with like two crackers. Someone has to die for this. <laughs> Fight to the death. Shuri's told Sylvester all about me too. This should be interesting. Oh yeah, we didn't get to see this. Wait until evening, grab some food, and head to the dungeons. Rat kebabs. Yikes. Look who's here. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> Is that any way to greet someone who's bringing you food? Frankly, I'd, ra I'd rather starve than eat what you offer. Yeah, shove it up your pie hole. Fine, but just so you know, the guard won't be coming for a while. 
I take a bite out of the food. Tasty. You sure you don't want any? I stand by what I said. Y yeah, m me too. I see. Well, it was nice talking to you. The pleasure is all yours. Don't bother coming back. That went about as well as expected. Well, whatever. We weren't really friends or anything. I don't know why they wouldn't accept the food, okay? A few days pass by. Me and Jack have our hands full, keeping the king asleep. Dreamcaster really has really grown useless. We have to cast the spell three times a day. During those three, the spell has to be done multiple times. Galiathos doesn't find the witch soon. There'll be trouble. What if the witch disagrees? Okay, this is not the song. There we go. We don't get another Dreamcaster. Then the witch has grown very stupid since I last saw her. I'm the king. She has to live here too. The other king going rampant won't make her life any easier. Right. What is she like anyway? I don't know her well enough to answer that. Oh, what's the voice here? Duh. And here I thought we were friends. Okay. Someone is at the window, but this is a tower. Jack lets them in. A lady flies in on a broomstick. Okay, wait, wait. I heard you've been asking for me, Jack. That's King Jack. I'm your majesty. New character. Who this? Oh, yeah. Very concerning. I'm a very busy woman. What did you need? I'm, I'm imagining like a witchy kind of voice, you know? Like a witchy bitchy kind of voice. Tell her about the king and the ineffective dreamcaster. The king is still asleep? That's right. But we won't be for but he won't be for long because we are an adequate spell. Jack, I didn't give you the Dreamcaster for that. I thought you said you only needed time to find a solution. Yes, the solution is to keep the king asleep. That's not a very good one. I didn't summon you here for your opinions. I need a stronger Dreamcaster. Fine, but seriously, I can't just keep endlessly giving you stronger and stronger spells. We will be overpowered sooner or later. That is nothing to worry about. The king will recover by then. How? Because of reasons, because of time. Yes, time is how you solve depression. <laughs> I kind of really want to say because of reasons. Yeah, I'm going to say because of reasons. Because of reasons. Wonderful, Marion. Great backup. <laughs> I knew it. You're just wishing his majesty got gets better. But he won't. Now, now, now. We all have to exist on this earth together. I know you two would rather not have it ravaged by a lunatic king. Might be a little late for that. But fine, fine, here's your spell. Just promise to find a better solution. Of course. Liar. <laughs> Liar. She takes off as quickly as she came. Well, that was cool. I'd never seen that character before. There she goes. But where's Galiathos? I'm sure he's on his way back. We have more pressing matters at hand. Yes, right. The new Dreamcaster works like a charm, which it is, which it is, but, um, anyway, the glow around the king is stronger than ever. Oh, yes, this will do fine. I liked your jigsaw face. True, I, I was an interesting design. Yeah, I get I get it. They're all toys. I just didn't think the toy witch would be a jigsaw puzzle, but it's pretty good. It's cool. It's cool. I like it. Maybe she's the tenth ending. <laughs> Secret character ending. But I really want it to be Galiathos. Looks like we're good for at least another three months. Exactly. Then if needed, we'll ask the witch for another one. Sounds good. I think? Yeah! The castle is still as warped as ever. And while the vines are still looming around everywhere, they aren't growing nearly as fast anymore. In fact, it takes days and days for them to even start growing once cut. But I have to be honest. I was hoping the castle would go back to normal. And with no vines. It's clear that isn't going to happen. I'm also pretty sure this setup only works for so long. Eventually, the king wakes up. But if I'm lucky, I'll be an old man by then. Besides, if the king starts running the kingdom down, I'll just go to sleep myself. Who cares about anything anyway? Jack is happy, and so am I. Oh, okay. Oh. Ah. Uh, that's the ending, huh? That's a depressing ending. Oh. <laughs> Are you saying, is this just the vine cutting ending? Why do I look like a homeless guy with his bag? It's a bucket? Why do I have it on a stick? It has a handle. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, great. The witch ending. This is the witch ending. You just keep cutting the vines, keep putting the king to sleep. Nothing happens. Okay. Okay, but now I don't know how to get the last ending. Like, I actually have no clue how to get the last ending. Um. Chat, what do I do? The witch ending. I wish that was an ending.
Hmm. Well, thanks for watching. No, I'm not ending it. We gotta find the other ending. We got to find the other ending, okay? Okay. Hmm. I'm not actually sure. Hmm. One second. Try starting a new game, okay? Let's just try starting a new game. I guess. And I'll just pick some new options, I guess. I guess, chat. I guess. Get Nemle on the horn. Dude, I wish I knew Nemle at all. I wish I knew Nemle. I'd love to thank them for making these games. Seriously. Okay, last ending. Let's start up. Let's see what happens. Don't be scared, Marion. You got this. It, yeah. You'll be fine. As long as you're just fine. Yes? We're all counting on you. That's what Master said, but... I can't even find my way to castle. Look around. People are rushing here and there. Nobody seems willing to hear me out. Except maybe that guy. Excuse me, sir. How may I be of assistance? I can't find my way to the castle. The king isn't having a speech today. Or tomorrow. Or anytime soon. Or ever, it seems. Okay, this is the same. Maybe skip? I don't know. It's a big hallway that looks as warped as everything else. All the doors are locked. <sighs> Who are you? I I'm Marion, the new servant. Oh, that's right. Welcome to the, uh, the, the castle. And your name? You should... Sorry, what were you saying? No, no, it's okay. Go on. Um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for the boss, he's probably in the tower right now. Tower? That's an odd place. He likes the, the view, I suppose. Uh, anyway, goodbye. Wait. Yes? I didn't catch your name. Mine is Marion. Wait, this is different. Wait. Oh, r right. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> it's Galliathos! Wait, this is completely different. Wait a second. M my name is, is Galliathos. Dude, why is Galliathos amazing? Super Chad Galliathos the knight? Galli? He, he does look a little bit, but that's okay. He does remind me of a certain Andrew, but we won't mention what Andrew, so no one will know. Are they going to get together? Is this actually the run? Is this the run? Galiothos? <gasps> Doki Doki? Badump? Badump? This is completely different. Nice to meet you. As a ma matter of fact, I am looking for a suitable partner in marriage. Whoa! Whoa! Smash! 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 To share with my, my family's riches. I'm very much available. Wait, I can cook and clean and I'm not ugly. Indeed, you are beautiful. Marion, will, will you marry me? Yes! Yes, a thousand times! Nice. I love the work in those edits and then this. Me and the sexy, mysterious guard, Galiathos, eloped at once. We were for happy forever and ever and ever. And rich, too. Oh, there's the money right there. He's got a sword. He's got a black sword. The end! We won! We did it! Let's go! Chat, we did it. Thank God, chat, we did it. Oh my gosh, dude. Chat, we did it. We did it. Let's put on the good one. Let's put on the good song. My favorite song from Nemily. Oh, dude, that's so good. We won. Amazing ending. The amazing ending. That's what it's called. Nice, chat. Nice. We did it. That's the end of Jack and a Castle, okay? That's it. We're done with Jack and a Castle. Part three, baby. Let's go! Okay, so this will be the end of Jack's runs. Can you get with the king? I don't think so, unfortunately. I think... I don't think that's consensual. That's, that won't be consensual, yeah. Unfortunately, Nemble has not gone for... Uh, I don't even know if that... What is that? Yeah, that's just rape. Somnophilia. Insomnophilia. I don't think Nemble has gone... For... Somnophilia, yeah. I don't think... I really hope Nemble doesn't touch on that. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's just full on horrible. So I hope Nemlite doesn't have a route for that. I'm happy it was Galiothos. I'm happy with Gally, man. Look at us. We're so happy. Best picture. That's the best one right there. Maybe in the dream realm. Hell yeah. Maybe in the king's dreams we had we had banged, but not in this one. Um. Okay, so that's the end of the jack of the castle game okay thanks for watching if you made it this far to the end of episode three this has been like a seven hour long journey I did not expect this game to be that long at all when i started playing this uh hence why the intros and outros of part one and two are just fucked um but uh anyways thanks for watching guys if you stuck around i love you guys you guys are awesome really awesome okay really appreciate the support uh, that is the end of Nemle's games, at least until part three of the Coffin of Andy and Lele. Until episode three, we won't have any more Nemle content. But uh, thanks for really giving my shot, my channel a shot. And if you enjoyed any of this, please subscribe. We're going to play a lot more games. And you don't want to miss out on episode three of my coverage of the game. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. If you liked any of these videos, leave a like. Comment. You know, that helps me out helps you you're awesome because of it um yeah uh i think we recently hit 3.4k subscribers we're still growing so be a part of it join up um anyways with that have a good one okay peace out oh uh, no i don't know about streaming genshin impact but we are gonna play genshin impact uh see you later